Good day everyone, this is Marichel H. Mahayag and I was tasked to present to you the topic Continuum Hypothesis. What is Continuum Hypothesis? In the early 1870s, the German mathematician George Cantor made a momentous discovery. The set of real numbers such as 5, 17, square root of negative 2, pi, and so on, sometimes called the continuum, is uncountable. According to him, that there is not just only one infinite, that both natural and real numbers is infinite. He also proved that reals has greater cardinality than the naturals. According to him, there is no set with cardinality in between the naturals and the reals. It is the assertion that there is no transfinite cardinal between the cardinal of the set of natural numbers and the set of real numbers. Furthermore, Contour developed a way of classifying the size of infinite sets according to the number of its elements or its cardinality. Contour's notation, the continuum hypothesis can be stated by the simple equation. 2 raised to Aleph null is equal to Aleph 1, where this symbol is from a Greek letter called Aleph, and then Aleph sub 0 is called Aleph, read as Aleph null, and Aleph sub 1 is read as Aleph 1. Aleph null here is the smallest infinite cardinality or the cardinality of natural numbers. And Aleph 1, Aleph 2, Aleph A is the cardinal numbers of larger well-orderable sets. And Aleph 1 is the, small, is the next smallest infinite cardinality and so on. Despite his efforts, Cantor could not resolve CH. So... Despite the length of the time he spent to prove that his hypothesis is true, hindi pa din niya na-resolve ito. The problem persisted and was considered so important by Hilbert that he placed it first on his famous list of open problems to be faced by the 20th century. Hilbert also struggled to resolve CH, again without success. Is the continuum hypothesis proved or disproved? As with the axiom of choice, the Austrian-born American mathematician Kurt Gödel proved in 1939 that if the other standard zermelo frankel axioms are consistent, then they do not disprove the continuum hypothesis or even generalized continuum hypothesis. Godel proved his consistency result by constructing a set theoretic world in which the continuum hypothesis is true, the so-called constructible universe. So, this was introduced by Kurt Godel in order to prove the consistency of the action of choice and the continuum hypothesis with the basic ZF actions of set theory. Gödel's consistency result therefore implies that there cannot be a proof that the continuum hypothesis is. Thirty years later, Paul Cohen proved that it is consistent with the axioms of set theory that the continuum hypothesis is false. To prove this result, Cohen invented a new method of constructing universe, constructing set theoretic universes rather, the forcing technique. This technique works opposite way on Gödel's. Using this technique, he constructed a set theoretic universe in which the continuum hypothesis is false. Let's have here a model that satisfies CH. The constructible universe, which was constructed by um, Godin. Definition 3.1, let A be a set. Define the definable power set of A by 
d of a is equal to set of a element of set a such that such that set of function from a to null is a b sub 1 b sub 2 b sub n such that null is first order and b sub 1 b sub 2 b sub n are elements of a definition 3.2 we define the following sets for such for each ordinal alpha l of 0 is equal to null L of alpha plus 1 is equal to definable power set of L of alpha. If alpha is a limit ordinal, L of, of alpha is equal to generalized union L of beta. We define the constructible universe by L is equal to generalized union L of alpha where alpha is an element of O n. Theorem 3.1 Let kappa be an infinite cardinal. Then cardinality of L of k is equal to kappa. Theorem 3.2 Mastowski collapse theorem lemma. Let R be a binary relation on a class X that satisfies the following. For every X, element of set x a set of y such that y by another relation of x is a set every empty y is a proper subset of x has an r minimal element for every x y element of set x if x is not equal to y then set of z such that z by another relation of x is not equal to z such that z binary relation of y. Then there is a unique transitive class S such that pair of S and R is congruent to X and R. Definition 3.3 The axiom of constructability denoted as V is equal to L is the statement that every set is an element of L. This axiom is consistent with ZFL. L is a model of the theory. Theorem 3.3 If V is equal to L, then for every alpha is greater than or equal to omega. Power set of L of alpha is a subset of L of successor cardinal of alpha. Before continuing with the proof, we need the following theorem along with the reflection principle. Theorem 3.4, let gamma, a subset of ZFC plus V equals L, be the finitely many actions needed such that the notions of cardinal, ordinal rather, rank and L of alpha are absolute for transitive models of gamma. The statement that says there is no greatest ordinal can be proven from gamma. The axiom V equals L element of gamma. The axiom of extensionality is in gamma. If M is transitive set such that M models gamma, then M is equal to L of O of M. Theorem 3.5 Reflection Principle Let gamma be a finite set of formulas of ZFC. If V is equal to L, then for each ordinal delta, there, there is an ordinal beta is greater than delta such that gamma is absolute for L of beta. We now begin with the proof of theorem 3.3. Let alpha be an ordinal and fix B a subset of L of A. By the definition of L, we know there is some delta is greater than alpha, such that B, element of L of delta. By theorem 3.5, there is a beta is greater than delta, such that gamma from theorem 3.4 is absolute for L of beta. Then L of beta 
models gamma. Define the set of x is equal to L of alpha union set of B subset of L of beta. By the downward Lowenheim's column theorem, there exists A is a subset of L of beta such that pair of A and element precedes L of beta in X is a proper subset or a subset of A and cardinality of A is equal to cardinality of X. Notably, this tells us that cardinality of A is equal to cardinality of alpha is less than successor cardinal of alpha. And pair of A and E in models gamma. And since the axiom of extensionality is in gamma, we know elements is ex extensional on A. Let M and A in be the Mostowski collapse of A. Since element is extensional on A, pair of M and in congruent to pair of A and in. Then, M models gamma. So, by theorem 3.4, M is equivalent to L of O of M. But we know that cardinality of M is equal to cardinality of A equal to cardinality of alpha. So, O of M is less than successor cardinal of alpha. So, since L of A is transitive and L of a is a proper subset of A. We have L of alpha is a proper subset of M. Note that B is a subset of M and the Mostosi collapse function is the identity on B. Thus, B element of M and we get B element of L of success, successor cardinal of alpha. Since B was arbitrary, we have power set of L of alpha is a subset of L of Successor cardinal of kappa. If M models ZFC plus V equals L, then M models CH. Let M be a model satisfying the proof, the above, kappa be an infinite cardinal, and X is a subset of kappa. Since kappa is a subset of L of kappa, we know that X is a subset of L of kappa and that X is an element of power set of L of kappa. By the theorem 3.3, it follows that X is an element of L of successor cardinal of kappa was arbitrary. Power set of kappa is a subset of L of successor cardinal of kappa. By the theorem 3.1, cardinality of L of K positive is equal to successor cardinal of kappa. So, cardinality of power set of K is less than or equal to successor cardinal of kappa. Now let's have the model that does not satisfy CH. So let's have for Singh and this was constructed by Cohen. Definition 4.12. Let P be a poset, B the associated complete Boolean algebra, and G is a generic ultrafilter over B. For a P name, N is an element of M. We define the interpretation of N in G to the set. N raised to G is equal to a set of M raised to G such that pair of M and P is an element of N and P is an element of G. Conversely, let A element of G. We define the set A as A is equal to a set of pair of B and 1 such that B is an element of A where 1 denotes the maximal element of B. Theorem 4.5 Given a countable transitive model of M of ZFC a poset of P elements of M and its associated complete Boolean algebra B and the generic ultrafilter G over B define 
n is equal to a set of n raised to g such that n element of m and n is a p name. Then the following hold, m is a proper subset of n, g is an element of n, n models zf, c, n is transitive. Thus, m of g is a subset of n. On the other hand, for each p name, n is an element of m, n raised to g is an element of m of g, thus m of g is equal to n. Definition 4.13. Let now be a first order sentence and m, p, and b be as defined previously. For p, element of set p, we say p forces null. If m of g models null in every generic ultrafilter g such that p element of g, we also define the forcing language over b to be the first order language with binary membership relation element in the set of p names as its constant. Theorem 4.6 Truth Lemma For every sentence null in the forcing language, there is a set of null element of b such that p forces null if and only if p is less than or equal to a set of null. In addition, the first order logical operations are preserved in b such that b negated null is equal to negated set of null and set of null lambda psi is equal to set of null lambda set of psi. Furthermore, for any sentence null in the forcing language, m of g models null if and only if there is a p element of g such that p forces null. Theorem 4.7 Definability Lemma Let m, b, p, g be as defined previously and let p element of b. For every sentence null in the forcing language, the, the statement P forces null is definable in M. Alternatively, there is a relation forcing element in M such that for P names, P sub 1 and so on are elements of V, M, and sentence null in the forcing language. M of G models null of P sub 1 and so on if and only if set of function from M to P forces null of P sub 1 and so on. Theorem 4.8, let M be a countable transitive model of ZFC. Let kappa be an ordinal such that M models kappa is equal to aleph A for some alpha is greater than 1. Let P is equal to F N of Set a pair of kappa times omega and two. Let B the let B be the corresponding complete Boolean algebra with respect to P and let G element of M be a generic ultra filter over B. Then N of G models set of function from M to Aleph A is equal to set of functions from M of G to Aleph A. these results of Godel and Cohen, we know that there can neither be a proof from the axioms of C-theory, showing that the continuum hypothesis is true, nor that the continuum hypothesis is false. That is to say, the continuum hypothesis is independent of the axioms of C-theory. These axioms are not strong enough to determine whether the continuum hypothesis is true or false.